what is happening. It got a shoot today for a new venue called The Harper that is here in Costa Mesa. It's a really, really cool space. Just got done. And these are going to be sort of the promo material photos to sort of get this space out and going. And so I ended up putting together a shoot with a couple models, with a groom, got some dresses that came in and going to check it out. It's going to be really fun. So typically with hair and makeup, I always try to talk with the makeup artist and figure out where's gonna be the best space or the best light in a room to be able to set up. So that's why we're finding like the cleanest wall and with the best backdrop as much as you can in a room that hopefully has light. Um, I'm gonna come in just real, we just put the, you can even just like touch the brush on her lip right there. And I wanna, yeah, exactly. I'm just gonna just shoot really tight on her lip. right here and then have you get it off the wall. One thing to always be really conscious of is looking at like where's your window light coming from, how bright, and then you've got your contrast from the brightest area of the photo to the darkest area of the photo, your highlights to your shadows. So you want that to be really well balanced. Use that right hand of yours and almost like hold the dress, look down at it, you can move it. Yeah, that's really pretty like that. Yes. It's a happy day. You know, you're getting married, there it is. <laughs> Maybe, is there a little like thing of a lipstick, a lipstick that she could be? That's cute. Actually, me. A little smile. Yes, there it is. Starting to gear up. Film pouch, the light meter. Locked and loaded. So for this shot, basically what I want to do is, well, I'm, I'm finding areas that always have the best light, where putting the bride by a window, and then I'm also wanting to see and use the ambiance of the space. And so this venue, which is really cool, has a lot of really rad ambiance. And yeah, so we're gonna try and do this one over here. And really to want to utilize as many locations as possible in a space. So it's like finding the ones that have the best light, natural light preferably, and then being able to move through the space as quick as you can. But this is a little bit more of a production and a setup, but um, trying to move through as quick as we can and do that. Look at that window. Yeah. I'm switching back and forth between black and white and color. I want to shoot at about F4 because I want more stuff in focus versus just a really shallow depth of field. So we could even do, F, I'm gonna do five, six on this one. Look at me. Yeah. Little smile, happy, we're so happy. <laughs> um, I think like if we can get this dress as puffy as possible. Yeah, I love that. Portrait 800, good stuff. I feel like Kodak portrait films work really, really well for interiors. They have a much more neutral color, in my opinion. I generally think Fuji, Fuji's a very pretty film. I don't always like to shoot very pretty. Models are pretty enough. So I feel like Kodak has a little bit more fashion element to it. Don't really care, don't you? <laughs> So if anything, like we're like, 
as much as we can, try to not look like models. You know, so like I, if as much as we can look like we're like we are a couple or like we're it's fun, it's our wedding day, we're happy. Um, you don't have to be like super smiley, but like slight smiles or um, like I would love even a photo if you were just like sort of hold onto his arm, you could even rest your head against his shoulder and just like a little smile, you know, so stuff like that where we actually look. The, the way that I typically am shooting couples, like, hey, listen, I'm, I'm directing you to interact, you know, because like, those interactions will look more candid, you know, so, um, yeah, Not so it's much, fast. yeah, <laughs> no. But uh, let's do one where you can be, you can have like slight smiles, just holding hands looking at me, then I'll come in a little bit tighter and then have you sort of hold on to him and do that sort of stuff. Very big little smiles there. Yeah. Change and film again. Here, give her a kiss on top of the head right there. <laughs> yeah. All right, right here. One, two, three. Uh, look at each other. <laughs> and then give it, yeah, like, give a, as you're hugging, give a little smile. Yeah, you can even, like, rest your head in there a little bit, and a little smile. There it is. Look how happy she is, folks. See it, this is the best day of your life. All right, there we go. Look at each, how about you two look at each other? Two girls, yeah. One, two. Get a piece of cake. All right. I think that's a wrap. Cool, thank you. You are welcome. Hey, I hope you loved that video. And if anything that was in there that was either helpful to you or just like looking at the process and how that works. But if you did like it, please subscribe below. You can follow along there. You can hit the little alert button so you get emails and check out some of the other videos that we've got on the channel. But got a lot more coming, hoping to just bring things to you that help you learn about photography and the whole process. So, till the next time.